Uh, that's why I love this machine. I'm very excited about it. We've, we've had the same espresso, the same coffee put through this alongside other machines. And this one just gives you a consistency, a sweetness that I don't think the others quite have that accuracy. Hey, coffee and espresso lovers, Mark here from Ho Latte Love, and that was George Howell from George Howell Coffee in Boston talking about the flow profiling Dalla Corte Mina espresso machine at the Dalla Corte sneak peek event at his shop last week. With 40 years in specialty coffee, he's one of the most respected names in the industry. Now, we've been working with Amina here for a few months, and so have George and his staff with excellent results. Coming up, more of my conversation conversation with George. You'll get his thoughts on things like coffee serving temperatures. You might be a little surprised with that. The concept of terroir in relation to coffee. What he's excited about in specialty coffee now and how the Dalla Corte Mina pulled an espresso with what he called endless depth from his Karatu coffee from Kenya. He says using the Mina, it's the first time he's tasted that depth from that coffee. Also at the event from Brazil was Danilo Lodi. He's a World Barista Championship judge since 2011. He's worked a lot with the Dalla Corte Mina. Specifically, he's researched how to adjust flow profiles based on roast level and coffee age. In fact, he created a PDF guide, and I want you to have that. It covers how to use flow profiling based on roast level and coffee age. Now, whether you do flow profiling or not, you'll learn some basic concepts in Danilo's guide that will help improve your espresso. If you'd like to read his guide, use the link up here or find it down in the description. In future videos, I'll have more with Danilo and others like company founder Paulo Dalla Corte. He has a long history in machine design and is responsible for innovations like multi-boiler technology and the digital flow regulator that gives the MENA its unique capabilities. And I'll talk to Francesco Bernasconi of Dalla Corte. He'll have more on the MENA plus a program he created at the jail in Milan, Italy, where inmates learn to rebuild older Dalla Corte machines. His program, it reduced recidivism rates from 75% to 25% for participants. That's really good stuff and incredible results. So subscribe and watch for those videos in the coming weeks and a lot more on the incredible Dalla Corte, Mina, and XT machines. But for now, let's get back to George Howell. If you're into high-end coffee, George is a guy to listen to. He's well known for having raised specialty coffee quality standards to a new level starting way back in 1974 through his company, The Coffee Connection. He grew that company into 24 locations. And in 1994, he sold his high quality and very popular coffee company to Starbucks and returned to coffee traveling worldwide. In the late 90s, he worked on models of economic sustainability for coffee farmers under the United Nations and the International Coffee Organization, which led to the founding of the Cup of Excellence program. It established the world's first international estate coffee competition and international internet auction that contributed to breaking the commodity price cycle for craftsmen farmers in the specialty coffee industry. Here now, highlights from my conversation with George. Especially again with a Karatu on an espresso. Yeah, that may be the first time that I've had that. It's a very round, uh, what do you say, something that the depth just goes and goes and goes, uh, right? And when you can get espresso like that, that has no groundness, no... Uh, no granular quality whatsoever, but it's just pure coating. There's nothing better than that. That's a very sensuous flavor. Every once in a while, you can find a really ripe, ripe blackberry, and then it's the sweetest thing you've ever had. That's what this was, right? Utter sweetness. I'll start somewhere around 150, 145. I stay away when it's hotter than that. Uh, it's, I'll, I'll, for some coffees, it's just the aroma that you pick up first, right? Uh, and, and then you start to sip it, but smaller sips, lighter, and then it starts to cool. And of course, this is all in Fahrenheit. But, you know, it's around 135, 130. 
the, the really temp oh you yeah it. that's when this the flower is really starting to fully open and you start to get much more complex notes terroir is something that comes on more slowly uh, you take your first sip of a, of a cup of coffee, for instance, or even an espresso, which is much shorter. Um, the first sip is just the beginning, and it's sort of uh, uh, walking through a doorway uh, with a first impression. But it's as you keep drinking and as the cup cools a little bit, it undergoes a change. And a coffee with real terroir will un start to very subtly and kaleidoscopically change and you start to get other flavors it, that are hard to, pre to precisely state what they are. Uh -huh. uh, so that it's more intriguing uh, and there's something to really fall in love with because you can't, as you try to grab it, it's not there. It's rather mystical in a lot of respects. Uh, it's not any one thing. It's, it's soil, it's environment, it's the culture around which it happens, how things are actually done. Uh, it's, a, it's an entire combination, including the sequence of climate as it changes, right? All of those things add up. Terroir is not, in my opinion, as appreciated as it should be. Um, it doesn't necessarily come with the more potent, hit you over the head type spectacular coffees that just wow you with the very first sip. Uh, so you have some really great varieties that produce extraordinary flavors like geisha and so on, uh, or, or processes. Uh, like a natural process or um, a car a carbonic maceration, as they, they call it, right? Which add a lot of pizzazz, but sometimes the pizzazz gets away, uh, gets overwhelms the terroir. Sharing what blows my mind. <laughs> if it blows my mind or my taste buds, I gotta go, taste this. <laughs> right, or look at that, right? That's exciting. So my special thanks to George Howell for sharing his wisdom. Again, I'll have a lot more in future videos on the Mina and XT machines from Dalla Corte. Plus, I'll share highlights of my conversations with Paolo Dallacorte on the design of his machines, Danilo Lodi on flow profiling, and Francesco Bernasconi on the Mina and XT, plus more on his successful program at the Milan Jail. If that interests you, be sure and subscribe. I'm Mark, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come on back soon for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.